and they get into the playoffs and have a chance for the championship. Up through the gears they go. The Camping World 400 underway. Not a great restart by Kevin Harvick. Austin Dillon easily into the lead down into turn one. Daniel Hemrick in the number eight. He's making a move here on the inside of Harvick in the back straightaway. Austin's going to go down and try to block that run. Three wide fighting for third right now. The one of Kurt Busch on the bottom of the racetrack. Kevin Harvick right outside of him. Austin Dillon holding the lead as they go through three and four. Three wide by three wide by three wide all the way back. Down to the apron they go, searching for space around this racetrack. Force in it looks like they've come with a pretty good package. Look at Jimmy Johnson who almost gets to the outside. He's going to the inside now. Slingshot move. Here comes Jimmy Johnson to the inside of Austin Dillon for the lead. For years, Rick, Jimmy Johnson taking the lead was no big deal. He's won 83 races, seven championships. He's only led 68 laps this year, a career-long winless streak. Can he complete the pass? He did. I didn't think he's going to get it done. Here comes Jimmy the three Johnson with a run. out front. Now, Austin Dillon to the inside. He'll try to take it back. That's what amazes me. You clear them, the leaders are not gone. They overtake it. Kevin Harvick says not so fast, working the wall. As those two are side by side, here comes the four of Harvick. That lap led by Jimmy Johnson. Austin Dillon running second, Harvick third. Well, those guys running side by side, they gave the four car a big run. Look at Blaney sneaking into the battle here. He's on the bottom. Great corner for Jimmy Johnson. He might be able to break free of the three car. Oh, I don't think Austin's going to let him go. Great side draft by Austin Dillon. And now Dillon. Oh, oh a little wobble by, by the three. Yeah, Austin Dillon got loose. Has to check back. A new leader, 48. All the top eight cars are winless this year. All these guys are trying to win a race. Caution is out. I'm sure it's weather. <laughs> we heard it from the spotter. I'm sure it's weather. Sure enough, it is. That was spotter Lightning. Earl Barbin. They're putting the covers on the cars, although there hasn't been any real rain or precipitation. There was lightning in the area. Talking to these drivers, they are surprised sometimes at how dirty the area is in traffic. It sneaks up on them. We knew it was tight because riding in that in car, the wheel never turned to the right. He constantly kept the wheel to the left, meaning the front end wasn't turning. Sometimes you'll get in the wall because you can't turn it because you're too loose in that case. In there in that six Oscar Mayer car also, also coming but you say spin and turn three spin and turn three, turn three. right rear tire is blown on the 14 car Clint Boyer get it going you can heavy damage Boyer around caution comes out two laps to go before the end of the stage uh, you oh, yeah, asked the question should you be worried about right rear tires but that's some playoff points we talked about at the start of this show how the guys that have been winning all the races, they've been separating themselves. That's a playoff point for Kevin Harvick. Martin Shrek's Jr. down along the line. Kyle Busch on the top oh, side. Contact. contact. The 48 trying to catch it. He thought Kyle Busch was on that outside. Spotter was probably telling him that. William Byron in the 24 got into the 48. It looked like William Byron was pushed up the racetrack, though. None of those guys knew that they were going to be four wide. Big run now for Alex Bowman in the 88. He moves up to third. It's this block right here. Kyle runs Joey Logano way down, but they're entering the corner. Now Kyle's got to give him a lane getting in the corner and just didn't give it to him. And, you know, got the left got the left side. So it's okay to block, but you got to give him a lane once you get to the corner. Kevin Harvick's got Harvick the just got into the wall, caution and now out. caution comes out. There's a lot going on here. Kevin Harvick just got into the wall with the right sides. Let's take a look here at the replay, see what happened to Kevin. He's really, he's pretty, oh, he's pretty close behind that 42, but not too close. Just got in the corner and got a little loose. See him chasing the back of the car, correcting it. There are times, Junior, when you get right behind a guy, and then you get clean air very suddenly. He's here his, comes Larson. He's on his bumper now. He's going to the inside, side by side in one and two. Larson all the way to the bottom of the racetrack. Bowman up on the high side, side by side for the lead. Side draft, he's got a quarter panel there, he's on him. Larson takes the lead away from Bowman. Can it be redemption for a year ago? Under six laps to go, but Bowman putting pressure back on the 42 as he looks low. He's there. Can he stay on that quarter panel off the corner? He's got it, he's got it, he's gonna be on the side draft. 
Going down the backstretch, contact made. Bowman trying to side draft. He takes the lead away as he goes to the bottom of the racetrack. Bowman's car is better on the bottom. You're clear. You're clear. Oh man, they're both chasing the back of that car. These two guys are both really, really loose right here, driving with everything they've got. I'm so impressed with Alex Bowman. I thought it was over. I didn't think he had enough to come back at Kyle Larson. Now wisely taking the line away that he knows Larson wants. It's been 133 races in the Cup Series. And now he comes up on one lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Alex Bowman looking for his first win in the Monster Energy Cup Series. Alex Bowman has finished in every position in a Cup Series race, second through 43rd, but he's never finished first. Working his way through the final turn, Alex oh, Bowman will win at Chicago. Thank you guys so much. Damn, Greg Ives, you are the man. Nice job, buddy. Heck of a job. Team proud of you. Heck of a day execute. Proud of you guys fighting uh, back on the last few laps there. Very proud. That was a great job by Alex Bowman. I'm so impressed. Big day for Alex. Big day for Hendrick Motorsports. Maybe even a bigger day for Chevrolet in this Camaro. They've come a long way with this race car. This victory is fueled by Sunoco. Fuel your best. That's what Alex Bowman was able to show us today. His I think I best. Got it stuck. <laughs> yep, it <laughs> rained a lot, Alex. <laughs> that celebration may last a little bit longer now. Stuck in the grass. What an impressive run for Alex Bowman as he lost the lead to Kyle Larson. Looked as though Larson was gonna drive away from him, but Jeff, you mentioned, so impressive to see this young man fight back and get that lead and then drive off and get his first win. Yeah, I love the regroup that he did and just got himself in a position where he got his car in the best lanes he could possibly be and went back and took it from Larson. That's how you wanna win your first race, man. You had to go beat one of the very best